Full disclosure, uh, I've got some maintenance workers working on a paint job outside my apartment in the hallway, so if you hear some noise, that's what it is, but I really want to talk about this film, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, and basically it follows some coroners that get this body late at night as they're trying to leave, um, and they really need to find the cause of death uh, for this woman because she looks completely normal on the outside uh, despite being very very pale and as they start to open her up they find some weird stuff and I don't want to give away anything because I knew nothing going into this film and it's creepy it's atmospheric the acting is great um, you, know, you really only have the two main characters and it's, it's a father and a son and the father is played by Brian Cox, who is a terrific actor. I absolutely loved him in Manhunter and X-Men 2. Um, and I think that this film could have very easily gone into like the cliche stuff. Like, I mean, they're obviously in a morgue, so I think that it's not a surprise that some of the other bodies go up missing. And I think it could have been very easy for them to have scenes where the bodies were like crawling and they're like, uh, joints were popping and stuff and it was just like like you, you see all of it this film doesn't do any of that shit it is you when you when you see like scary stuff it's very quick it's in shadow um you're not sure what you're looking at at times and it sets up a lot of great scares earlier because characters will say oh well we we have this uh object because it's a certain tradition and then that ends up paying off later on in the film. I love stuff like that. I don't think that that happens a lot in like big budget mainstream horror. And that's why I try to kind of gear towards more of this indie stuff uh, that has like a smaller cast and a smaller scale because they take more risks. And I will say if you are squeamish, this might not be the movie for you. It's not gory for the sake of just gore. Like, I mean, we're talking about a film that its whole mystery wraps around an autopsy. So they show everything as they go further and further into the autopsy. And it's not like glorified or anything. It's just, it's just, it feels necessary for the film because if you don't see this, the stuff that, um, that the coroners are seeing, then you're not going to know what the heck is going on, but I would not recommend eating while watching the film uh, because it is really gross um, if you're not used to that sort of stuff. But I And I would love to watch the film with somebody that does this sort of work to see how accurate it is um, because one thing that did absolutely kind of bother me is that while they wear aprons and gloves, at no time are they wearing masks or goggles. It's like, I, I'm not an expert, but I feel like those would be standard practices for this sort of thing because if you like hit an artery or something and it squirts in your face, you want that protection. Uh, that just seems like common sense to me, but they never wear anything like that uh, throughout the entirety of the film. And that was really like my only negative with it. Other than that, I thought like it was, uh, it was genuinely creepy. I thought that it was really well made and really well acted and it's something that I would highly recommend for this Halloween season. It is available on Shudder if you have a Shudder account. Um, so definitely check that out. So The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? What's your favorite movie that is set in like a uh, in a morgue location? Because there's a lot of movies that do that have done that and um, I think that this one might actually end up being my favorite. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great Halloween season. Bye.